Hello, in this Java lecture series, I'm going to teach you how to write your first Java program. Then we will see what are variables. Then we are going to learn about data types. First, I will explain you everything on this whiteboard. Then I will take you to my laptop and then I will show you the program on my laptop. Do not worry about the class, this method, all these things I will explain to you in our later sessions. So let's write a program where we will be printing a word to our output screen. So in order to print something to our output screen, we'll say system, we'll say dot out dot print. And then we'll open a brackets. Now inside this quotes, we are going to write something. Let's write hello world. And we will finish it with another set of quotes. Anything which is inside these two quotes will be printed to our output screen. So this is our program. When we run this program in our output screen, let's say this is our output screen. Inside our output screen, we will see these words. We'll, we can see it will print hello world. Don't worry, I'll take it to my laptop and show what it exactly is. So instead of hello world, if you write something else, let's say you write, hey everyone, or you say, hey there. If you write these words inside these double quotes, your output will say, and if you run this program, your output will be, hey there. So anything you put inside these double quotes, of this line system dot out dot print. So it is going to print to a output screen. Now let's move on to our next topic, which is variables. Variables are like containers. Let's say we have a container and we want to put some something inside it. Let's say we want to put a value called 10 inside this container. So this is a container which is having an integer value 10. So this container should have a name, right? So let me name this container as X. So in programming, what you'll do is you'll say X equal to 10, which means X is a variable which is given the value of 10. So this 10 is assigned to a variable called X and this X acts as a container which will be present inside the memory. We can also say Y equal to 20. In this case, Y is a variable which is storing a integer value 20. So in this way, you can also say name equal to Adam. So in this case, the word Adam is stored inside the variable called name. So you can see that here I have used double quotes to put a word. But here when it was an integer, I did not use it. So I'll explain what it actually means. So for now, we have learned what is a variable. Variable is like a container which can store any value. You can also have something like a equal to 2.5. So this is also a variable which is having a value of 2.5. This 2.5 is put inside a container, which is a. So now we can move on to our next topic. So now you can see this is x is also a variable. Y is also a variable. This word name is also a variable and a is also a variable. Now you can see that inside X, we have put a value which is integer. So in mathematics, we have learned what is integer. So natural numbers are from one to infinity. Now we have a whole number which is zero to infinity. We also have integer, which is minus infinity to infinity. So this integer, which we learned in mathematics. That is the same thing which we are going to use here in programming language in Java. We are going to call it as int instead of calling it integer. We are going to call int. Now this is a proper statement and it will end with the semicolon. Now this is a proper statement in Java, which says a integer variable is having a value of 10. So we are telling we are declaring a container x of type integer. So it will 
only store a integer value now here you see y y is also having a value 20 which is an integer so we will say int y equal to 20 and we will finish the line with the semicolon now this is also a valid line now you see this thing this word which we have put inside it is called adam so this is a word when you are storing any word inside a variable this variables type should be string so you see this is a container which is going to store a value which is of type string so you can also say string email equal to let's say xyz at gmail.com so inside so you have to use this double quotes also don't forget that so we are saying this email is a variable of type string and so we are able to store a word inside this so next thing is here you can see a is 2.5 so you can see 2.5 is not a integer so you cannot declare a as int so this is wrong so what is a over here in java we will call it as float we'll say float a equal to 2.5 and we'll finish it with the semicolon so now let me explain it again clearly so we can have variables of type integer i'll say int a so now a is of type integer so it, so it can store only integer value so 10 is an integer and we will finish it with a semicolon just like in english we use a full stop to end a sentence in java we are going to use semicolon then what we learned we learned about float we'll say float if say float b equal to 20.02 so this is a decimal value for storing a decimal value we need a container which is of type float so next thing what we saw is string what is string you can say string name equal to adam and we end it with a semicolon so now what it means name is a container of type string and hence we are able to store a word inside this container so these are some data types in java there are other data types like boolean and many more which we'll see in a later videos for now we have understood what a variable is what a data type is so a quick recap in this video we saw how to print anything to a output system, output screen so if you do this it will it is going to print to a output screen we saw how to declare a variable this is a variable and we are telling the type which this variable can store so we saw variable we saw data types and we saw how to print something hey welcome to my laptop screen so here i'm using a online compiler so as i have mentioned do not worry about these things you will learn about this in our later videos so this is a space where we are going to write a program so now the first thing we are, we are going to do is we are going to print something so what is the thing which we need to code is system dot out dot print and we are going to tell what we need to print inside double quotes so i'm going to say hello and i'm going to end it with a semicolon so now to run the program so here's the button so i'm going to execute the program so you can see this is the output terminal and here we are getting a message called hello the message which we wrote inside here so if i say hello world and i execute the program so you can see the message has been changed so whatever you put it so whatever you put inside here you can put anything at all and you can execute the program and whatever message you find inside these two double quotes 
will get printed over here and the next thing what we saw is we are going to declare few variables let's say int a equal to as a is of type integer we can only put integer values over here so i'll say 10 i will finish it with a semicolon so also we can declare a variable of type string i'll say name equal to adam then we saw about float so i'll say float uh, let the variable be b and i'll say 30.1 so you can see these are the different type of data types which we have and these are the variables which we have declared so that's it for this video if you learned something please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you